David Hall and Casey Johnson here at American Airlines Arena. The Bulls season is over. 94 to 91 losers to the Heat in game five. Four games and one in favor of the Heat. This game started terribly for the Bulls. They fall behind 22 to four. They come fighting back. I think, you know, that is what people are going to remember about this game. Maybe about this series and this team. They never quit. They refused to go away. The Heat prevailed in the fourth quarter. They had their bench really came through. Norris Cole was hot. Dwayne Wade came through. LeBron had a quiet 23. But the season's over. What did you think about the Bulls' effort tonight, and how did it reflect what they accomplished this uh, season? Shane, uh, Shane Betty also with eight fourth quarter points, big, big for the Heat bench. Uh, tonight was a microcosm of the season, David. Um, like you said, 22 four hole, another horrible start, slow starts the team all season. But this team always overcame adversity and showed a lot of resiliency in times of trouble. Fought back to take an 11 point lead and had a chance on the final possession to tie a game. Both uh, Nate Robinson and Jimmy Butler missing game time three pointers in the final possession. So just coming up short, I thought the most telling post game quote, and there are a lot of them, was Tom Thibodeau was asked the difference between the Bulls and the Heat, and he said, quote, right now, health. And that's, <laughs> that's, their, right. mi that's their mindset, when, that they're that close to the Heat if they're fully healthy. When a team without Kirk Heinrich, without Derrick Rose, without Luol Deng, takes the defending NBA champions, a healthy team, down to the last possession in a playoff series at home, it does speak a lot about you know resolve and resilience, all the intangibles. So I think that you feel badly about this loss if you're a Bulls fan. It was excruciating to probably go through. But how do you feel bad about this team because of what they overcame in this postseason? Well, exactly. You know, a lot of postgame talk about Derrick Rose. Derrick declined to talk to the media, but a lot of uh, Carlos Boozer and Joe Kim Noah both talking about what Derrick will bring to this team next season. And that, obviously, that's a pretty good offseason addition, adding a former league MVP and number one. So assuming he comes back at a high level, which everybody assumes at this point is going to happen, you know, this team feels like it'll be right there again next season. A couple quick things people will be talking about tomorrow. Carlos Boozer, 26-14, and 14, finally showed up big time in this series in the paint. Also, Rip Hamilton, 15 points in 35 minutes. Bye-bye, Rip. <laughs> nice parting gift. <laughs> it, it was a nice audition tape for somebody else. Asked Tom after the game about why didn't you come, you regret not using him sooner. He basically said, no, he's a pro, he did his job, and he answered that pretty uh, effectively. Yeah, Rip's got a $1 million uh, team option, or $5 million team option that will be bought out for $1 million this summer. I was just talking to him about, you know, how many more years he wants to play in the league, but he will be playing for somebody else next year. So, um, you know, some nice parting gifts. Uh, Nate Robinson probably done as well. Um, but a good effort by the Bulls in their final game. And our cameraman's coughing, so we need to go. <laughs> it's all over here in Miami. The Bulls losers 94-91. to The season's over. We'll be checking in in the offseason. For Casey Johnson, I'm David Hoff.